Okay, and then our final submitter for this session, um, Dave Hinman from the Tramway Historical Society. Dave, thanks for joining us. Welcome. Um, thank you very much, Mr Chairman. Um, I'm Dave Hinman. Some of you know me. For those who don't, um, I had 50 years in the, in the City Council and previous councils prior to retirement last year, including more than 25 years involved with planning, development, operation of City Tramway. My involvement continues now as an advisor to CTL, and I'm also a part-time tram driver, so I guess I'm from all aspects. I was also a leader and participant in central city planning, pre and post earthquakes, and um, for a time was seconded to the heritage team. I'm a past chairman of the former Historic Places Trust Canterbury Branch um, Committee, and I live in and have restored a heritage listed house. From a THS perspective, the Tramway Historical Society perspective, I've also had more than 50 years of active membership. I'm a life member, past president, and currently secretary, and I represent them today. So, our, our submission. Um, and, and it really supports what's come through from Sue already. So it supports the tram extension, um, and as you've heard, and you'll see from the diagrams that are, are coming round and, and our later ripple submission, it is already well down the track, so to speak. Now, it's not clear from my reading of this draft plan whether it will be significantly de uh, delayed by proposed budget cuts. If not, that's great, because in which case we urge the Council not to slash further. Um, it does seem to meet the definition of a committed work under your capital programme prioritis prioritisation categories in the draft plan, given the political commitment and funding which goes back to before the earthquake and reaffirmed as recently as last year's annual plan and then designed sign-off in September 2019. I also wonder why it's described as a new service, where, where it shows under that category what appears to be a 995000 cut in spending. We support CTL's views on the importance of completing this next stage of the extension to Central City Economic Recovery, and in particular, connecting the Salt District. Having the tram differentiates the Central City from the suburbs and the rest of New Zealand, and this will help its economic recovery and renewal, including surviving competition from the suburbs and encouraging more people to live here. We have previously requested that the tram extension proceed ahead of the other street improvements proposed for High Street. This would bring more immediate benefit at less cost, and the high street works could be undertaken later, as was done in Oxford Terrace by Sarah and Otakaro. I would like to emphasise the City Tramway has always been a three-way partnership. The Council provided infrastructure, CTL was the operator, sourced and uh, found by the Council, and HTT, the Heritage Tramways Trust, is its contracted tram supplier and maintainer. The HTT is a trading arm of the Tram Historical Society, which owns most of the trams. The HTT have a written submission, and that will show it is struggling to survive with reduction in rentals through no or limited operation, and that it needs the work from CTL for maintenance and, for, and also to assist in funding further trams which are or will be under restoration for future city tramway growth. We are concerned that less funding from other sources, such as RATA, pub charities, lotteries, etc., is likely to be available to enable the work of both our volunteers and a small number of paid staff, and also paying for contracted out specialist work. Two other brief topics, Ferrymead Heritage Park. We also support the submission of the Ferrymead Trust concerning the impact of COVID and any potential reduction in funding in the park. The Ferrymead tramway operation is an essential element of, of our business model. This should be a time of more funding to enable the park to further develop and improve its image and to attract more visitors, both local <coughs> domestic and international when they return. <coughs> Pardon me. Finally, support for heritage. Finally, our submission supports the retention and indeed increase of funding for heritage. In the central city, the heritage tramway complements our remaining built heritage, some of which still requires support for post-earthquake repair. The new heritage strategy adopted by Council after wide consultation broadened the definition of heritage and the need for its protection, including moving heritage, which of course includes trams. Thank you. Thank you. Now that leaves time for question, if there is a question. No? All right. Thank you very much indeed for the um, submission, and we'll look forward to receiving the documents that have been circulated. Thank, Thank you. you. So that brings us to the end of this um, session of um, hearing submissions. Um, so I now need to adjourn the meeting until 9.30 on Friday the 26th of June. So I'll now adjourn the meeting until 9.30 Friday morning. Thank you.